All right, guys, Anthony Vase back with a first look and unboxing of the Boxer TC160. Just says Boxer TC features with 80 watt parallel layout, 160 series layout, maximum output wattage, temp nickel, titanium stainless, watch mode, and mechanical mode, which will bring you the whole day pure vaping taste. So it's TC160. So that's actually a pretty cool idea. So basically, um, you can go either in mechanical mode where it bypasses everything, what some call a bypass mode, and it just works off the battery voltage, bypasses the chip, or you can do um, actual using it in, you know, regular regulated mode. Also, you can throw the batteries parallel or series to change the maximum wattage. But I'm thinking that might be, I don't know, definitely going to have to find out more about this for sure. Cause it seems it's got quite a bit of features to it. Uh, these ones sell for 30 bucks as well a while ago. It might still be by the time I post this video. And for that price, I figured, why not? Give it a try. Something else to review. Take a quick look at it here. This one is the red and white splatter. They have quite a few different colors, actually. Here goes all the colors in the box. So I wanted something different. It kind of looks like a candy cane, I guess. Here's the box. Zoom it out. Is there anything else under there? Nope. So it's just a box. And just use the manual. Interesting. Actually, has a pretty good user manual that explains a lot of stuff. So I'm not really majorly worried about it for right now. It does not come with a USB cord. I'm guessing that means it probably doesn't allow you to charge with the board. But that's fine because honestly, I never recommend charging on the board. So, pop some batteries in it. Here, I'll take a quick look here. Zoom it in for you. Alright. Got to take my batteries out of this one here. And pop some suckers into here. Pretty basic battery door and stuff. Ah. Doing stuff through a camera is tough. Yeah. Doesn't really want to go. Let me pull it away so I can see better. There we go. And a pretty solid battery door. Could possibly be used as a weapon. Fits on pretty nice. Nothing rattling, so that's good. Starts up right there at the 160. Out, then it cycles back around if you do that. Should say no atomizer. Beautiful. Take some measurements here. See what we got. It is 40 millimeters wide. 40 and a half, actually, almost. It looks actually perfectly square. We'll see. Nope, I am totally wrong. And about 35 and a half, give or take. Wondering if it will handle a 30 millimeter tank without overhang. I don't think so. Yeah, that's close. I'm going to get it. <laughs> I mean, eh, I don't think it will, but I'll tell you what. Definitely going to be something that I'll have to take a look at. Actually, idea. Pause. I grabbed a 30 millimeter Addy just to see if it will. So, 30.3. Fair enough. This is the Iron Maiden. Tell you what, might not be flush flush, but it's pretty freaking close. And plus, this was a um, 30. Like a little bit, like a 30.2, so a little bit more. Yeah, it sticks out just a hair, if you can see that. But I mean, that's that's honestly pretty freaking close to being flush. I mean, I, I would I would use a 30 millimeter on this personally. I don't think, I mean, I don't like overhang, but that is just so minimal. 
and this is actually a little bit larger than 30 millimeters so it's there there's overhang but not even measurable hey hey right so the one thing that kind of a yeah, it's the plus and minus I don't know maybe it doesn't annoy me that much but yeah it's probably right the plus and minus just when you turn it sideways to match with the screen I feel like the top part should be the plus but I bet there's a way to probably flip the screen over one or three clicks go on the menu here we go Bot mode, temp modes, addy lock, mech mode. That's really it there. What if I do this? Screen off. No, oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's see what this one does. I get screens on. Nope, doesn't seem to do anything. What about all three? Nada. So, seems like a pretty simple device, but gotta say I do kind of like the shape of it has a nice feel to it color is something different which I always like and it's pretty close to handling it I mean you could definitely put a 29 millimeter tank on it no overhang so it actually handles big tanks pretty well so that's the first look and I'll be doing testing on this and reviewing later so like and subscribe if you want thank you guys for watching